I figured I'd make a, a quick video <clears throat> just to kind of illustrate some points about these uh, VVEL uh, cam intake sprocket covers on the VQ37 VHR. So um, the problem that I'm running into on this particular setup and some of the principles will kind of correlate to other people's issues. So, um, but I'll kind of explain it. So um, we, have a, we have a sensor. Okay, and then on your intake cam sprocket, you have the encoder wheel it goes around. So that's how it's picking up cam timing. Now, the actual hydraulic lockup of the cam is reliant on the oil passage that goes from the front timing cover and then it goes through this cover. Okay, and then via the solenoid is then going to actuate the oil that goes through an internal passage and comes into this guy. Okay, now why I'm saying these three seals are super critical is because that's what's allowing the intake cam to hydraulically lock up. So um, sometimes you'll have a VQ37 VHR. Um, now this normally is always kind of a bank one problem, but sometimes it can be a bank two problem. But um, you'll get that click clack in the valve train. You know, you can almost identify it on the top of the valve cover, and that's because it is, because that's the control cam and the intake sprocket. So um, if you don't get enough hydraulic oil pressure running through this system, um, now these are split seals and they're dynamic. You're supposed to be able to rotate. Um, if uh, these seals are worn, damaged, or we're going to get into my situation that happens from time to time is, uh, so I build these motors uh, quite often. I rebuild them. And um, depending on the condition of the engine, the condition of the deck of the cylinder head, the deck of the block, um, it may get a cut and it may get a small cut. But the problem is with these motors, you damn near can't even do a cut um, unless you're going to be relying on a, you know, a thicker head gasket or something like that, which, you know, a lot of companies like Cometic would make something that, you know, you could have like a 1.3 millimeter. And of course you need to, um, you know, investigate the uh, height differential and the deck heights from the machining process and then what you're actually building you know and that'll dictate the thickness of the head gasket so a problem that we have on these engines is that whenever the cylinder head height and the block height is now the geometry's changed so now the cylinder head is going to sit further down meaning the intake sprocket exhaust sprocket is also going to be further down so the front timing cover, rear timing cover, front timing cover, and these control cam covers, they don't have the ability to move with that new geometry from the material that you just removed. That's how precision a VQ37 uh, VHR is. So you get into a problem where these dynamic seals will bind in the intake sprocket or they'll just completely rip and tear. You'll see on your oil pressure gauge, you'll kind of watch the oil pressure kind of dip down and then you'll watch it come back up and dip down. And then also too, the general oil pressure uh, overall will be slightly lower. And it's just because it's pissing oil pressure out into this thing internally, which is just the timing chain system. So, you know, it's not gonna keep any pressure for you. So, um, the modification that's done is, um, dowel pins. You're going to modify them about 10 thousandths of an inch in diameter and shorten them. Then you're also going to drill out and punch out these 10 millimeter holes, um, about 10 thousandths of an inch again. So after you coating this in Vaseline with new dynamic seals, when you go to do the install, you're actually going to use feel of your hand to see if there's bind in the actual intake sprocket. And once you can get it into a free moving position, then you're going to go ahead and lock down two of the pieces of hardware and then go ahead and lock down the rest of it. But that's a problem I think a lot of these guys when they're building these engines are having.